Welcome to my YouTube channel Medical Knowledge where learning medicine makes sense. In this video I will discuss about the delayed umbilical cord clamping in neonates. Delayed umbilical cord clamping is recommended for improved maternal and infant health and nutritional outcome. Umbilical cord clamping must be delayed for at least 30 to 60 seconds during delivery. It can be done in vaginal delivery or caesarean section delivery. This should be done in both tom and preterm babies. The evidence shows that benefit of delaying of cord clamping in HIV mother outweighs the risks of transmission of HIV. The first few deep breathing effort of the neonate create strong negative intrathoracic pressure which draws the blood into the baby from placenta. The position of baby may be the mother's abdomen or at or below the level of uterus. Delayed cord clamping of 1 minute allows additional 80 ml blood into the newborn and delayed cord clamping of 1 minute allows additional 40 to 50 mg per kg iron into the newborn. Delayed cord clamping also allows additional stem cells and immunoglobin into the baby. These infants have improved hematological status, iron profile and clinical anemia at 2 to 6 months of life. This helps in better motor, cognitive and behavioral outcome in infant. In preterm infants, delayed cord clamping is associated with reduced risks of intraventricular hemorrhage and it is also associated with reduced risks of necrotizing intercolitis. The stem cells and immunoglobin help in prevention of infection and inflammation which is common in preterm babies. The risk of polycythemia does not increase with delayed cord clamping. There is a reduced need for blood transfusion in infants who had delayed cord clamping. The jaundice requiring phototherapy is seen more in newborns who had delayed cord clamping than those who had early cord clamping. Delayed cord clamping should be deferred in following conditions. When there is immediate need for resuscitation in case of antepartum hemorrhage like in placenta previa, when there is cord avulsion, when cord blood banking is planned, in case of maternal hemodynamic instability, whether to do delayed cord clamping in multiple pregnancy is not established. Active management of third stage of labor should go side by side while performing delayed cord clamping. Thank you for watching this video. This video is made possible by the help of Dr. Deepak Powder, MD Pediatrics. If you like this video, then please do subscribe to the channel.